Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Chris Gildart, and welcome back to Warriors Rochi 4. Ah, oh. alright. So, just just to let you guys know, I did, uh, I did go and play a couple of the stages we did in episode 1 to get everybody up to around level 5, level 6. Uh, and I figured out how you increase their moveset. So when you go into the upgrade section... You click on the character, you go down to upgrade levels. Or no, you go to acquire skills. And it's these ones, the circle with the uh, X in the middle. That increases their actions. So this is the full string of attacks. And I went around uh, what characters I could. And I was just trying to see if there was like uh, a skill for increased experience or anything like that. And I couldn't find anything for that so yeah i'm gonna go just with the uh attack actions first and then uh yeah we'll go from there so we're gonna go into the next stage and from here on out every episode is just gonna be one stage uh the first episode was two stages so let's get into it Tarakatsu Honda and the other elite warriors of the Tokugawa clashed with the forces of Wu, brave heroes from the Three Kingdoms period of Chinese history. During the fighting, they managed to reach a mutual understanding, which proved beneficial to both sides. The strange weapons that mysteriously appeared and the mighty power demonstrated by Lu Bu facing so many unknown elements in this bizarre world, the two forces rationally considered the current situation and decided that... The more allies they had, the better. Then Wu scouts returned with news. The tyrant Dong Zhuo was on a ramp was on a rampage in a nearby village. The combined forces of the Tokugawa and Wu excuse me struck out to save the people. I don't know what reason they may have, but hurting the people and pillaging their belongings will never be allowed. We have to defeat Dong Zhuo quickly and save the people. All right, uh, so I believe I have everybody with a good weapon. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm pretty sure like they only have the one weapon that I have equipped to them anyway. So let's just begin battle. And uh, before I do anything, actually, uh, I want to show these. So let's see, what do we need to do? We need to defeat at least 200 enemies using unity magic. Which I feel like we're going to learn how to do that in this stage. Win without Ma Chao, Kanatsugu Nawe, or Guan Yin Ping being defeated. And win without any of the peasants being defeated. Oh. Okay. So we got some uh, potentially harder uh, things here. And this gives us a skill orb. I wonder what that is. Alright. So. Those are going to show... We're going to go get straight into this. Are hyper attacks uh, weaker than normal attacks? It, it looks like hyper attacks are weaker than normal attacks. So, Unity magic is performed when, by all seven of your party members and is the most powerful form of magic. You can also obtain rewards by defeating enemies with these attacks. When your unity gauge... Or when your Unity Magic Gauge found below the member info is full, you can unleash Unity Magic by pressing the left trigger and right trigger. But note that doing so will completely deplete your Unity Magic Gauge. The Unity Magic Gauge is filled when you attack enemies with normal attacks, charge attacks, and other attacks. The most effective ways to fill the, to fill the gauge is to strike enemies with charge magic or to strike an enemy after you have achieved a hit count of 300 or 1,000 or more. When your hit count reaches 300 or 1,000, the power of your magic attacks will be increased if you defeat enemies by casting such powered-up magic. A bonus will be added to how much of your unity magic gauge is filled, so it is best to defeat enemies by casting magic after you have accumulated a high hit count. All right, so let's get back into this. So I, I am going to say 
right off the bat that uh, I have been hearing some uh, poor things about the at least the Japanese release of Dynasty Warrior or Warriors Rochi Four. Um, that like the story isn't that great. Uh, mostly the story is the, the the big thing that I've heard, and like uh, there's no gauntlet mode, there's no versus mode, which. Let's be honest, that they, they, I could live without those. <laughs> they weren't uh, big draws for Warriors Rochi 3 for me. Like, Warriors Rochi 3 was great because of the cast of characters, how many stages were in that goddamn game, and just so much support for costumes and DLC stages. So, we'll see how Warriors Rochi 4 stacks up. So far, the my, my biggest uh, critique would be the UI. Um, I feel like the UI is a little on the uh, not-so-user-friendly side. Um, in various locations on the battlefield, you will find anchors protruding from the ground. Anchors are a medium are a medium that transmit the power of the gods from the heavenly realm to the terrestrial realm. By using sacred treasures to accumulate such power, you will be able to cast magic. Anchors... Oh, let me just watch this video. It, what is it doing? It doesn't look like it's doing anything, in the video at least. Anchors allow you to obtain power from the gods. In particular, your magic gauge will be recovered rapidly if you hold down the right bumper when you are near an anchor. So the best time to use magic is when you are fighting next to one. Okay. Well, it looks like there's a bunch of people over here. Let's, uh, let's try this unity magic thing. This is... This is badass. That, that was cool. Ooh. Ooh, you get experience and stuff from that. Yes, please. Let's, let's keep doing that. So, uh, in the last episode, I said that uh, I might not like the... Uh, the um, magic quite as much as the uh, wait let me just check okay he's still level 5 he's almost about to level up though if you're just coming into this episode what I like to do is I like to um, switch between my characters as they level up and try to keep them around the same level which is why I leveled them all up to around level 5 uh, off screen but uh, I I actually started using the uh, the magic a lot like it's really cool especially if you're in a big area I also kind of like that uh, the horse you can just summon it and it's there that's really cool to me oh I feel a burp coming up I had a pumpkin spice latte um, before recording. Uh, it was okay. <laughs> I usually, I usually have one, maybe two pumpkin spice lattes during the fall. I don't mind them. The first one I ever had was from Starbucks because I was like, if I'm gonna try one, I'm gonna try it from the place that uh, is known for it. But uh, it, it was really good from Starbucks. And this one was from a place called Timothy's. Not Tim Hortons. Timothy's. Yes, there's two Tims. Uh, <laughs> anyways. This one was uh, a lot more spice than uh, latte, I guess. What I was trying to go for. But uh, it was okay, I guess. I don't know. I... I'm more of a black coffee drinker. It's just they didn't have my my flavor, my choice flavor that I usually get at Timothy's. But uh, 
Yeah. If I drink coffee, I go black. I'm just a normal coffee kind of guy. I rarely have the, you know, cafe, frappuccino, whatever. Um, though I do like those types of drinks. I'm just more of a black coffee, just a normal coffee-flavored coffee, coffee kind of guy. <laughs> Excuse me. Still have my cough from last episode. Um, last episode I said I was going to, uh, you know, grab a lozenge and get into episode two, but uh, my wife fell asleep on the couch in the living room, and uh, I didn't want to disturb her because I'm a good husband. <laughs> Learn from me, guys. <laughs> Uh, I, I want to get to somewhere that has, like, a lot of enemies and use this unity magic thing. And I'm just, like, fucking around here. I'm not, uh, not really trying too hard to get ahead of the game. I am really enjoying my time with Warriors Rochi 4, at least from a gameplay perspective. Um, I'm not too far into the story. There's a few things that I feel like, I think I said it in the, the first episode where uh, it felt like a few times they were blowing their load uh, too early. Like we saw the gods even before the first stage. In the first stage, it was Tadakatsu versus Lu Bu. They showed the, uh, um, magic weapons right off the bat but I can understand it from a gameplay perspective so you know you wouldn't want to be like halfway through the game and get told hey here's these magic things uh, because that would just be you know you'd have to go back and play through all these uh, stages yeah it just I, I could see how it makes sense so that uh, you don't, you know, just destroy one of your uh, mechanics that you've built a, the, the game itself around. But I think it would have been cool if, like, oop, what level is, uh, oh, he's level seven. Okay. I fucked up. Ooh. What are you? On the battlefield, there are units known as Chaos Origins, whose, whose very nature have been evilly influenced by the powers of the gods. Normal attacks and charge attacks have hardly any effect on Chaos Origins. Excuse me. So you will have to use magic or rage attacks to deal any significant amount of damage to them. Excuse me. Although normal attacks and charge attacks will have little effect on Chaos Origins or Lost Ones, such attacks can be used to efficiently fill up your magic gauge easily when you are far from an anchor. Chaos Origins similarly alter the nature of nearby enemy officers as well, so attacks uh, attacks other than magic attacks will not be effective on such officers either. Also, Chaos Origins will only appear within special areas. You can receive rewards by defeating Chaos Origins. There are three levels of rewards you can d receive depending on what your hit count is, when you defeat them, if your count is over 300, you can pick up a special item known as the Tear of the Gods. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get this uh, hit count up, shall we? Try to get this up to a thousand and do this. Yeah, motherfucker, you gonna die. Oh. Yes. 
If you defeat a Chaos Origin after you have achieved a hit count of 300 or greater, a special item known as the Tear of the Gods will be dropped. If you press the left stick while possessing this item, your attack and defense will temporarily be raised dramatically. This powered up state is known as Rage State. In when in such a state, rather than unleashing their usual Musou attacks, characters from the Dynasty Warrior series will unleash a Rage attack, and characters from the Samurai Warrior series will unleash a Musou Frenzy attack instead. After unleashing a Rage attack, if you pr continue pressing B, the attack will be sustained for a certain amount of time. During such an attack, if you def defeat a certain number of enemies or more, your attack will change into an even more powerful attack called a true rage attack. All right. Well, is there enough enemies? There's there doesn't seem to be enough enemies here to to do that. But let's let's do it anyways. Oh yeah. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. I want to do that more often. <laughs> but yeah, that that one there, like this set of magic, I used a lot when I was uh, playing off screen for a little while. Because it, it just racks up the hits. Ah. <sighs> From a gameplay standpoint, I am really enjoying this game. Like, a lot. I can't wait to unlock more characters and... Ugh. I need my main guys. KG. Uh, Chahadun. It's too bad Achilles isn't in this game because he'd be in that too. I I'm, I'm gonna say it. I'm a bit disappointed that Achilles isn't in here. Uh, I think he should have been in here. Because, you know, you got your Greek gods. It only makes sense. But uh, I guess I'll let it pass. Um, as long as, you know, if they do a Warriors Rochi... Or Warriors All-Stars 2. That they bring all of the guest characters from Warriors Rochi 3 Ultimate into that. That would be ideal for me. I, I would really like to see... Koei Tecmo Japan take uh, the Warriors Legend of Troy series and make it into that uh, more of a true um, Warriors uh, experience because it's, it's not exactly what you would expect from a Koei Warriors type game. Uh, it's, the, the maps are a little bit more expansive uh, it promotes exploration of those maps. I do plan to do a review of it sometime, but I'm just saying these things. Um, I do think that there's certain things they could have done better. And I feel like if the Japanese developers took it on and made a sequel, it would be... It, it would take that into the next level. But that's just me. That's just my thoughts. I'm just a guy who plays video games on YouTube, so... <laughs> what do I know? Um, I don't know if there's any, like, weird licensing things with, uh, you know, how, uh, if... No, there shouldn't be any licensing issues because it's all Koei Tecmo. Doesn't matter if it's Koei Tecmo Canada or Koei Tecmo USA or Koei Tecmo Japan. I also think Koei should allow the US side to start development and stuff because you know why hold yourself back? I feel like the US side could also I don't know if they already do this because uh you know, the North American and European uh, areas are the only ones that get the Xbox One copies. Because so I don't, I don't think there's a Japanese version of 
Musou Orochi 3 on uh, Xbox One. I don't know. I, I, I haven't looked into it. I need to get my horse because I'm running way too slow. But yeah. Um, also, just a thought. I, uh, I'm, I'm getting the, uh, PS4 and Switch versions of this game as well. I'm also getting a physical copy of the Xbox One version because, of course, uh, collection and stuff. Uh, and do you guys want to see a comparison between base PS4, Xbox One X, and the Switch? If you guys want to see that, just let me know. Maybe I'll do a, a quick little edit. It won't be, like... It won't take the place of a Let's Play or a Let's Play Challenge. I'll just upload it on a Sunday or something. You know, just just a random video to be like, hey, check this out. And if you guys want to see stuff like that, let me know. So I've, I've had a few ideas of, you know, just uh, throwing some gameplay and music and stuff together and making videos without much commentary. Maybe I'll do some commentary over the graphics. I don't know. I'd like to see how this game is going to look on the Switch. Because it looks really good on the Xbox One X. Um, is there, there's not a whole lot of people here. I also like how you can lock onto the base captains. I found that out in the while I was playing off screen. Ooh, I don't know what the hell I just did, but it, it was really cool. <laughs> I didn't play a whole lot of uh, Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires. I wish I did, because like I didn't get a whole lot of exposure to the Dragon Hooks. Um, a lot of the weapons that I used from the DLC were uh, like past weapons, like the, the big giant totem pole thing that uh, Meng Huo use, you used in Dynasty Warrior 6. Probably could have used uh, Unity Magic here, but whatever. What are you going to do? You're going to go into the center of this area, and you're going to use it there. Um, maybe? Can I get to the center of that area? Where? How do I get in there? I'm also not recognizing this stage. Is this a new stage? Was this stage added in t since, uh... I don't know. Was it added in... Like, a game that I haven't played? I, did, I, did, I don't play a whole lot of the... Um. Oh, there's another Chaos Origin. Let's get this co hit combo up. And come on at me. I wonder if that's different for each character or whatever. Or if there's, like, a specific team. Uh, like, maybe that's the generic one. And there's, like, if you have these people, then it'll be different. Like, if these seven people are in your team, then uh, they'll all be this way. Ooh, Chaos Origin going down! Oh, did that just uh, increase my rage meter? Or I think that did. Ah, uh, that sucks. Cause I was hoping to save that second uh, tier of the gods for in here. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Got to roll with the punches sometimes.
Get that hit count back up. Wait, wait, what? Oh, she's level 8 now. So let's switch over to Tadakatsu. I can't wait to have um, everybody at their full combo. Oh, that got up. Get got the hits up. Like the the gameplay is just so solid from these Warriors games. This is this is what I wanted in Dynasty Warriors Nine. Just a stage where you play through it and you you can beat it and it's done. Don't get me wrong, Dynasty Warriors 9 is not terrible. I don't think it's the worst Dynasty Warriors game ever. I still think that's uh, I'd probably say it's Dynasty Warriors 2. Not to say that, you know, it was a terrible game for its time, but right now, there's not much to do with it. Like... Why would you play it over any other Dynasty Warriors game other than Nostalgia? Or if you haven't played it before. Because the stages are pretty good. Um, but that's it. There's no weapons. There's no secrets. I, I would rather play 6 than 2. But I'm weird. So, yeah. Take that with a grain of salt. I'm the weirdo. You might not be. <laughs> Alright, and we've got more magic. Let's get this going. And kill some people with this. Ooh. Getting all that EXP. Oh, that makes me happy. I wonder who I unlock from this. And uh, if... I wonder if we just uh, gather... Like all of these people that we fight. And then in the end we fight Zeus and them. And that's how we unlock the gods. I'm interested to see the progression. Of who you unlock, how you unlock them and all this stuff. And I wonder if there's any secret characters. Secret weapons. Secret costumes? Costumes would be cool. If they in include secret costumes in any of their games, I think that would be really cool. Anyways. Unifying the justice... Unifying the justice in our hearts allowed us to drive these villains off. Still, Ma Master Tadakatsu, you are here as well? I'm also meeting you for the first time in this world, Master Sun Chuan. This world, did you say? Do you know something about this place? We became lost in the mi in some mist and then found ourselves in a, this strange place. If you know anything, please share it with us. So you've just arrived here. Allow me to take you to Master Liu Bei and Master Kenshin then. The two of them have formed an alliance in order to fight Nobunaga in this world. We are working with them. Nobunaga, Dong Zhuo, or Nobunaga? Dong Zhuo also mentioned that name. Very well. Please take us to them. Yes, unlocked Ma Chao. And Guan Yin Ping. Kanetsugu Naue. That's it. Well, those are characters I really like. Uh, I'm really good to bring them in. We acquired also uh, a Walnut and Flame. So take all and proceed. Got some bonds growing. Let's keep going with this and see uh, see what I can do now in my camp. Thank you for coming. I'm sure I don't need to introduce myself to the Wu, but still, I am Liu Bei. I have formed an alliance with Master Kenshin and lead the forces resisting Nobunaga. The righteousness of Liu Bei is worthy of our trust. He is most required... He is most required in the battle with this demon king. That said, we have only a tiny force when compared to that 
compared to the one that we face. We've taken, uh, we've taken to calling us the rebel army. Hold on a moment. Why are you fighting Lord Nobunaga? And what is this world anyway? To be honest, there is much that we also don't know, but I will tell you everything that we do. Many people have wandered into this strange world, crossing over the boundaries of time and space. How this all happened, and how can we return to our home worlds, remains a mystery for now, although we, although one we are working to resolve. One day, no Nobunaga Oda suddenly appeared, leading an army, and began invading the territories around his own. He proclaimed himself ruler of this world, and stated that he had the forces to back such a claim. Nobunaga swiftly brought many under his control, while using strange power to lay his enemies low. However, we cannot let his violent methods go unchecked. Master Kenshin, Master Shingen, and myself have therefore formed an alliance to stand against Nobunaga. We intend to discover his true intent and expose the nature of this power he has somehow obtained. Well, I know of the power because I watched a couple of the announcement trailers. Still, the Oda army is far too strong. To be blunt, we need more warriors. Will you lend us your strength? Hmm. Having seen the way that, having seen the way the Oda army was acting, we share the same doubts as you. We also need to uncover the myst mysteries of this world and find a way to get back to our own. Joining forces is starting to sound like a pretty good idea. Good. I am grateful to he I am grateful to heaven for the good fortune of bringing us further allies. Lord Liu Bei, Lord Kenshin, bad news. The Takeda lands have been invaded by the Oda army. Ujiyasu Hojo and Yoshimura Imagawa, allies of Nobunaga, have been sighted among the enemy. What? Yukimura and his brother are Yukimura and his brother are with Lord Shingen, but they won't hold out for long against such a large force. I fear you speak the truth. Please, we must hurry to aid them. Very well. We are coming we are coming at once. Chapter 2, Scenario, the rescue of Takeda will, is now available. Liu Bei is unlocked. Kenshin is unlocked. Fa Zheng is unlocked. Cool. Huh. We've got quite a collection of weapons now. Using a more powerful weapon will increase our performance in battle. Thank you. I've, I was actually like looking for this when I was playing off screen. All right, so that's episode two. We are done. As I said, we're just going to go stage by stage for, from here on out with the episodes. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm going to do some weapon fusing, might do some leveling up off screen while this uh, video renders out. And I will see you. Wait, I got to sign off properly. Thanks for watching. <laughs> don't, forget to subs don't forget to hit like. And go down in the comments and leave uh, a friendly little word. Subscribe for more because I'm uploading every week, every day this week. Hit the bell to get notified when I upload. And uh, starting next week, I'm back to my usual schedule of normal Let's Plays every Tuesday. And Let's Play Challenges every Friday. And if you have a Let's Play Challenge for me, you can leave it down in the comments. You can go onto the Discord group. And there is a channel there where you can submit your challenges. Or you can tweet at me with the hashtag ChallengeChris. And uh, if you want to help support the channel, you can also join the guild through Patreon. So thank you to the guild members that you see on screen. And uh, yeah, at, for $1 a month, you can see your name at the end of every single video I upload. Anyways, guys, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to do in this episode, so thank you very much, and I will see you all 
down in the comments.